In this video, we're going to take a look at using the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial distribution. So to begin with, just cast your mind back to working with the binomial distribution in A-level maths. And you might remember that calculating binomial probabilities, where n is large, can be quite challenging. So in situations like this, it can be useful to use an approximation. So to begin with, let's just say we have a random variable. Let's say we have x here, which follows a binomial distribution with parameters of n and p. Okay. Then we can use the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial distribution if the following conditions hold. So we have two conditions here that we need to satisfy. So we need that n is large. So n is large. And we also need that p is small. Okay. If these two conditions hold here, then we can use the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial distribution. And in this case, x can be approximated by a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, where lambda is equal to n times by p. Okay, so let's just write that down. Therefore, x can be approximated Write this down in full here. Like I said, this would now be a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda where lambda is equal to n times by p. Okay. Now, a very common question here is what do we define as m being large and p being small? And truthfully, there is no set definition for m being large and p being small. However, it is important to state that the larger the value of m and the smaller the value of p, then the better the approximation will be, okay? Now, to help illustrate why this approximation works, let's just consider the variance then of a binomial distribution. And this is a formula that you should be familiar with. We've already done a video on this. So if we have this random variable here, x, then the variance of x here, that's given as np, times 1 minus p there. That shouldn't be anything new to you. You should recognize this um, formula here for the variance of this random variable, which follows a binomial distribution. So, like we said, we need these two conditions here to hold. So if p is small, let's just think about this for a moment. And let me use a different color to kind of highlight this here. So if p is small, just highlighting this here, then this 1 minus p here will be very close to 1. Okay, so this will be close to 1. That will be close to 1. And that should seem quite obvious because obviously the smaller that p is, this will be closer and closer to 1. And if this is close to 1 then, what I essentially get left with here is just np times 1, giving me then the variance here as just np. Okay, so what that means then is that that will be close to the mean of the distribution. So in other words, my variance here is close to the mean of the distribution, and that should hopefully um, you know, sound like a good thing because we need that condition um, that the mean is equal to the variance for a Poisson distribution. So let's just make a note of that here. So in this case then, np times one minus p, in other words, my variance here will be close to the mean of the distribution. That will be close to the mean of the distribution. Like you can see, that's because of this condition here, p being small, it leads to this part here being close to 1. So in that case then, this satisfies the condition that the mean is equal to the variance. That satisfies the mean being equal to the variance. And that shows us that we can use a Poisson distribution. Okay. This just largely builds on um, that video a couple ago where we did the um, you know the mean and the variance of a Poisson distribution. Same idea here now. 
obviously just showing that this is close to one. Um, this part here, so we just get MP for the variance. Obviously, that's just you know it's going to be close to the mean of the distribution, and it satisfies this condition. Okay, so we can use the Poisson distribution there. Okay, and there we have it. So the key points here is these bullet points here. So you need these two conditions, n is large, p is small. In that case, then we can use the approximation. This bit here underneath, this is just a bit of intuition as to why the approximation actually works. Um, you know, you're not gonna be asked to prove why it works or anything like that, um, but just to kind of help illustrate the idea and reasoning. So that's everything that we need here now to get started. So let's take a look now at some practice questions here or using the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial distribution. Starting off with question one here then, where we have the random variable x which follows a binomial distribution, such that x has parameters of 240 and 0.01. So for the first part here, part a, we're asked to find the probability that x is equal to three. So for part a then, simply calculating this probability here for the binomial distribution, it would be nice and straightforward. This is essentially an A-level maths part here to this question. So to do this, I'm going to use my calculator to calculate this probability. So I click through distribution and then click binomial. So if it's right there in this order here, just so you can see it, so it's distribution and it's binomial. And then in this case, because it's probably that X is equal to three, it's an exact probability, then it's going to be BPD. Okay. So in this case now, we need to choose a few things. I've got x, number of trials, and p. Well, x is equal to three. That's the probability that we're looking to find here. So x equals three. Number of trials, that's n. So that would be 240 here. So n equals 240. And then p is going to be 0.01. So you press enter now. This will give you the correct probability here that we need. So this is for the probability that x is equal to 3. Let's just write this down. Therefore, the probability that x, or a random variable x, is equal to 3. That is 0 0.21023 to three significant figures. Okay, so that's to three significant figures. And there we have it. So that's the solution there to part A. Hopefully, nice and straightforward. So now for part B here. It says briefly explain why a Poisson approximation is valid in this context. So in other words, this is just asking basically are the two conditions satisfied here? So don't forget the two conditions here that we need is that n is large and that p is small. And in this case, both of those conditions are satisfied. So um, a Poisson approximation is valid. Let's just write this down. A Poisson approximation. is valid and it's valid because n is large in this case n equals 240 and p is small okay in this case p equals 0.01 and that's all we need there for part b so part B is just testing that you know the two conditions there that we need for the Poisson approximation to be valid. And then for part C, it's asking us to now use the appropriate Poisson approximation to find the probability that x equals 3. So for part C then, I now need to define a new random variable here. So I'm not using x now, I'm going to just use y. So y follows a Poisson distribution now. My parameter here, lambda, well that's equal to np. So n is 240, p is 0.01. So lambda in this case here for c, that's going to be 240 times 0.01. And that would give us 2.4 there. Okay. So my parameter here is 2.4. And now what we're looking to find here is the probability. That in this case, it says probably that x equal to 3. I'm now going to change that to y. That's our new random variable here. So it's probably that y is equal to 3. Okay. So I've now defined this using a new random variable. And again, all I'm going to do here now is use my calculator. So again, if I write the order here just so you can see it. So I'll write this underneath. So I go distribution again. 
So it's distribution, then it's Poisson. Poisson. Um, I'm not spelling that incorrectly, by the way. That's just the way my calculator writes it. So Poisson. And then in this case, again, it's an exact probability, the probability that x equal to 3. And we P, P, D. So P, P, D there. And then again, it asks for a few different things. So x here. Well, again, this would be 3 because we're looking for the probability that our random variable x here is equal to 3. So x equals 3. And then we also need mu. So that's the parameter here, lambda, which is 2.4. If you enter both of these in and then press enter, it gives us the probability here. Now, obviously, what you should expect using this approximation, because we're looking for the same probability here as in part A, the answer should be pretty close. Okay. And what I get here, if you enter this correctly, is 0.209. And that looks good, right? We've got 0.210 here. I've now got 0.209. And that's two free significant figures as well. Okay. So just use that as a bit of a guide. Um, if you're looking for the exact same probability between two different parts where you then use the approximation, those probabilities should be pretty close. Obviously, they might not be the exact same. It's just an approximation. But like I said, if n is large and p is small, they should be pretty close. Okay, and in this case, like you can see, they're pretty close, so we're happy with that. And there we have it. So that gives us the solution there to question one. Then look now, one more question here to finish with. We have an electronics company who produce light bulbs. So the probability that a light bulb selected at random from the production line being defective is 0.02. And we're also told that a random sample of 200 light bulbs is examined. So for the first part here, part A, we're looking to find the mean and variance of the number of defective light bulbs. So to begin with, let's just define the distribution here that we're working with. If I choose x as my random variable, it doesn't matter which letter we, you know, we choose, but I'm just going to choose x here to work with. We've got x, and this follows a binomial distribution. So for the parameters now, What's the sample size that we're working with here? Well, we have a random sample of 200 light bulbs, so n equals 200. For my probability now, well, because we're looking at the number of defective light bulbs, the probability that it's defective is 0.02. We'll jot that down there as well. So now, all I'm looking for here is the mean and variance of a binomial distribution. So for the mean here, this is mu. This is equal to n times by p. We've got np there for the mean. In this case, it would be 200 times 0 0.02. And that would simply give us 4 there for the mean. We now need to find the variance here as well. So for the variance then, again, just using the standard results here, this would be np times by 1 minus p there. Well, mp we already know. That's what we calculated in the first part here for the mean, so that's 4. And then we times this here by 1 minus p, where p is 0 0.02. So 1 minus 0 0.02 there. All you need to do here now is just put this into your calculator here. And if you do that correctly, what you should get then is 3.92. There we have it. So that gives us the solution to A there. That's the mean and variance. So now for part B here, it says using a Poisson approximation, find the probability that the number of defective light bulbs in the sample will be at most three. So we're using a Poisson approximation here. And we can use a Poisson approximation because n is large, n is 200, and p is small. Probably here is 0.02. So we can use the Poisson approximation. So if I just define my new random variable here, let's use y. In this case, now y would follow a Poisson distribution. We're now approximating here. And remember for the mean here of our Poisson distribution, this parameter, this is equal then to n times p, which we already calculated in part a. That would be 4 here. Okay. The so lambda in this case is equal to 4. So now what we're looking for here is this probability. So we're looking for the probability that the number of defective light bulbs in the sample will be at most three. We need to be able to kind of decipher what that probability will look like. So in this case here, we're looking for the probability that it will be at most three. It's the probability then that y is less than or equal to three. This would be at most three. Okay. So in this case here, now I'm going to simply use my calculator to calculate this here. 
So if I go into my calculator, what would this look like? I'm going to go on distribution. I'm going to go to Poisson. And in this case here, this would be PCD. Okay. So we're working with a variable here rather than a list. X in this case for us would be three. That's what we're looking to find the probability of here. My mean mu would be four. That's our parameter here. If I press enter then execute, I get 0.433. So 0.433 there, and that is two three significant figures. Okay. And there we have it. So that gives us the solution to A. Um, that gives us the mean and variance. And we also have the solution to B there. That gives us the solution there to the very last question. And that brings us to the end of this video on using the Poisson distribution to approximate a binomial distribution.